Well, my, both my parents were physicians, actually. My mom was a family medicine doctor and my dad was an allergist, so it just seemed to be what I modeled and seemed to be what I sat around the dinner table and talked about was medicine and gross medical conditions, and so it just seemed to be a natural fit. You know, most of my patient population, probably about 40% are women, I would say, age 20 to about 45, 50. I do see a lot of their children. I see some older patients, and um, I think my love tends to be the families I know, the parents, and I know their kids, and I can kind of encompass the whole family care. I enjoy that piece of it. I'm a mother of four, and I think that it's really convenient when you're there at the doctor and your child has a sore throat, and you can kind of see both at the same time. So I appreciate doing that whole family encompassing care. Well, one of my big passions and something I started at Wilmington Health was the Family Fitness Challenge. And really what it started out as was first one-on-one, -on -one, I was just trying to do some sort of intervention with some of these children who are having some weight problems. And then I started thinking about what a greater impact I would have if I could encompass the whole family because statistically, if a child has a weight problem, oftentimes the parents do too. And the parents being my patients, I oftentimes already know they already have diabetes or they have heart disease or the grandfather's already had a stroke and you see this moment of opportunity to intervene with the kids who start with the weight issues and then sometimes the diseases that follow. So it's been really fun after work for about an hour, once or twice a week, I'm meeting with four to six families, the whole family, mom, dad, all the kids, and we're doing some healthy lifestyle stuff together. And what the parents end up joining this program for their kids, they end up getting these positive results as themselves too. So when the dad comes back for his diabetes, it's better. When the mom comes back for high blood pressure, it's better. They join the program because they're concerned about their kids, but it turns out to be an all-around great family program and it's been really fun to do. Sort of as a side job, as a hobby, but it's been really fun to do after hours in my clinics. I think it's the friendships that build over the course of time. I mean, I live near Carolina Beach, but have commuted up to Porter's Neck now for 12 years. and. There's been some opportunities of some job openings in closer offices and I've gotten calls and said there's an opening here, an opening there and the part that's been difficult to even consider the move has been the friendships and the relationships and establishing sort of that history with your patients. You've known some of these people for so long that it would almost be like losing friendships and I really appreciate that personal level of being just in primary care in general of watching family stories and watching their kids have kids and just forming that relationship that you actually look forward to people on your schedule. I look forward to people on my schedule. I'm like, oh good, I get to see so-and-so. I get to hear how her son's graduation party went. That part to me is enjoyable and I feel so blessed to have a job that I love to go to every day. I never sit and say, oh my gosh, it's Monday. Maybe about the charts at the end of the night. I do feel that way, but the actual day-to-day -day interaction, I love my job. And I love my job because I love my patients. And that's really, I think, where my passion comes from.